Hi, and welcome everyone to the screencast from Laser Animation showing the new features of the LaserGraph DSP software release from January 2015. First of all, there is the support for the visualization software from CAST, WYSIWYG, and to uh, enable that uh, visualization, you go to the setup uh, to the uh, visualization page and here you can choose the different protocols so to uh, work with WYSIWYG just choose WYSIWYG and enable um, the visualization and choose the channel. You can find detailed information on how to set up WYSIWYG in a separate screencast. Inside the film editor we have three new variable functions. The first is DMX out and the syntax is DMX out followed by the channel number. In this first example I used three DMX output channels running a sinus with different faces. I will open the IO info window so we can see the output of the DMX. So when I click on the time loop you see the sign is uh, running on, on, on the DMX and here in the second example there is a sign is running on seconds also with a different face. In the next example I used an index instead of a value in the DMX out function so it's very easy uh, to work with with more than uh, uh, three or four five six channels so in this example I use 16 channels and uh, the result uh, looks like this you can find you can find this example uh, also in the release notes so when I run the, the loop you see um, there are uh, the sinus is running on, 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 on 16 channels here the extension of this function is the function dmxout16. This function combines two channels so you can send out 16-bit values uh, as it is often used in, in the lighting uh, world. For example, for moving hats or for a camera inside a visualization software. So in this example, uh, I uh, use channel 4 and automatically uh, the DSP will use the following channel, which is 5, to send out the uh, fine values. So 4 will be coarse and 5 will be fine. So as you can see, I, I defined the fader. So to control the output, so I have... Uh, Again, the, the output here and now by moving the fader I can change the 16-bit value here so with this function it's um, much easier to control a 16-bit uh, fixture there is one more function here in the variables and uh, this is an array an array can be used uh, to save and recall up to 10,000 elements. This function is a very good tool to solve complex programming tasks. There is one more feature inside the film editor and that is um, there is a new command for uh, working with uh, display zone commands and this one is for converting the display picture or display animation or display buffer commands into display zone commands. After the command you need to define the DGC zones uh, where the picture will be displayed in. Before the command is executed you will be reminded what's going to happen and you have to confirm because this operation cannot be undone. Of course, this command uh, also works inside the block, so you can um, convert only parts of your film. 
And then there is the modify um, display zones command, which can be used to, to change uh, um, the, the um, values here. So uh, for example, I, I can change the uh, zones now to 12 and 13. And again, a short reminder. And of course you can find the commands here uh, in the menu. So here they are all the convert and modify commands are in, uh, in one menu here. And the last new feature um, is a small add-on for the laser disable function. We edit uh, a notification when uh, the status changes. So um, here you can define uh, a message that is displayed um, when laser is enabled and disabled. Which means when I press my laser disable button here, the message uh, pops up uh, telling me that lasers are disabled and also enabled. So yes, that's all for the new uh, release. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.